Hi, and thanks for choosing to watch this C-Logic video in which we will look at how you can add a contact and account in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. Generally speaking, if you're using the Leads area of Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011, you will be adding contacts and accounts to Dynamics CRM by converting a lead. However, if you want to add a contact and account because they are pre-qualified and you want to register an opportunity, you can also do that. Because you can add a separate contact record with no affiliation to a company, or a separate company record that has no contacts, you can simply add an account and then add as many contacts as you want to it. From Outlook, open up the Sales Workplace and click on Accounts. Now in the Account Specific ribbon, click on New. Simply fill in the required information or information that you know at this stage. Be careful to set the address type as you can use these addresses at a later date when doing quotes. Notice that a lot of related functionality is greyed out at the moment, but this will become active when you have saved the record. Any fields with a red asterisk are mandatory. Once you have input the information you require, click Save and now you can navigate within the record using the links. To add a contact to this new account, I can now either click in the Contacts area and the ribbon provides me with functionality to add a new contact or I can click on Contacts in the related navigation bar and I can add a new contact from here. Click on Add New Contact and insert the information you know about your contact. Note that the account we have just entered is flagged as the parent customer. Once you've filled in the information, click Save and Close and this contact is now linked with the account that you added and you can start using the additional CRM functionality with your contact and account.
Finally, we can see that our new account and contact will appear in the lists embedded in Outlook. Well, there we have adding contacts and accounts in Dynamic CRM. Remember to use the help files if you have any problems, but in the meantime, thanks for watching this C-Logic production. <laughs>